people with the stole one. But I, I think it's more about showing some character down eight uh, with under three minutes. And I thought that character showed first when we got stops, second with Epiphany Prince, uh, turning that into threes and ones, attacking the basket. But I remember three crucial timeouts. I went in the timeout and we were on defense. And I said the exact same thing every time. And Piff came up big, Ruth came up big, and he got stops. Uh, hit free throws and uh, they executed the last play down at the stretch. And, you know, that's why it's a long season and when you can get these type games uh, when you shoot 37% from the field. Uh, so it looked like we were in quicksand some of the time, you know. Uh, and it was, uh, we had opportunities where we could have just threw in the towel, but it was nice to see some grit when the game was uh, ugly. Did you say the one consistent thing was the defense, though, right? I mean, you guys made it tough on the whole game. You, you know, uh, I said this last game, you give yourself a chance when the team is in the 60s. It's not my formula. It's just a basketball thing. Uh, just the, the law of averages in terms of your ability to attack the basket and knock down shots if you stay consistent. And here's what's lost. Like, we chart everything. Uh, you know, Sylvia, well, not just Sylvia, we have 48 post touches. Can't ask for more than that. And that doesn't always equate to points for Syl, but I remember the double team, they kicked to Piff. And that's the thing that they stay consistent with, even though she was getting touched and not scoring early, sometimes she tend to go away from that. So it was nice to see them buy in, dig in, and get this win. Is this a benchmark win just in the sense that maybe this team would have lost this game last year? Uh, wow. Um, you know, we haven't had much success, so please forgive me for saying this, every win is a benchmark win. Seriously, I don't mean that it sounds funny, but, you know, at Washington, the first one was benchmark. At San Antonio, watching them, you know, barely lose to Connecticut, uh, that every game is going to be that way until we get to the point where we're one of the better teams in the league. How important was it uh, to, to have that rally at the end without going into the overtime and just sort of taking advantage of the momentum that you had going in? It, it, it was huge. Um, you know, it's nice when you, you have some veteran players that are cool under pressure. Uh, you know, Swin didn't shoot the ball well. She has to be on the floor a lot of times because she understands schemes. She understands where to be. She'll get you a loose ball. If she doesn't get it, she'll tap it to someone, get you an extra, extra possession. Or little things like we call the play at the end and recognizing snows on the ball. And before anybody on the staff can say anything, they make the switch to put a tall inbound. So there's those little things uh, that connect the dots there. Where does Epiphany's performance rank in terms of how good it was in the clutch? <laughs> you know, I hope she doesn't read the newspaper, uh, but I know she does. Um, she's unstoppable. Uh, I told her, uh, you're a special player, and Epiphany can stop Epiphany. Uh, she's one of seven players that has range, has mid long range, mid-range, and an ability to finish around the basket for someone that's only 5'8". Uh, and sometimes she struggles with not wanting to take over. Please, please take over. And take over doesn't always mean 31 points. It did tonight. Uh, but she has the ability to get by defenders and see things and, and help us play at a certain pace. But to leave age pressure off of Slew, off of Swin, off of everyone else. But uh, And she's still young, you know. Um, as you guys know, we talked about her defense a lot. Uh, and you would think that would take away from her offense, but she was steady tonight. And I hope she's asleep right now, getting rested for Atlanta. Your last inbounds play, was that the way you designed it? Yeah, you know, it's nice to have um, Sill with a nice target. Um, you know, the returning players uh, is a similar set to something we ran last year. Uh, but, you know, it looked easy. Um, but everything was executed. You know, Piff went um, under the screen. You know, we flared our shooters away, and Sylvia just buried her and used her size and strength. And the thing is, you can do all that, but Swin made a pinpoint pass. Uh, and therein lies the difference in, you know, Sylvia shooting from one foot or three feet. So uh, it was how we drew it up, and, and it was nice and winning. How much can a win like this, like, kind of just set a tone for you guys this season? It has to, uh, in terms of this, we're walking down the tunnel, and T. Young says to Christy, oh, I can't 
see it. She, we didn't play well. She said we played like that. Yeah. No, no, no. After the game. Oh, okay. Quote. Cool. That's what she said. And the point is, but she knew we played hard. And to be rewarded with that, with a win, we know we have to go back and correct a lot of things. But it has to give them pause to say, hey, if we play hard and stay true to each other, trust uh, in the game plan, and we'll give ourselves a chance.